Uh, the arm injuries that you observe, would those be consistent uh, with uh, scratches from either uh, glass or a piece of plastic or a piece of metal? It's possible. And the injuries uh, that you observed, um, would that be consistent with uh, injuries that you observed uh, in other cases of a pedestrian collision? They're not the classic pedestrian injuries that we observe, no. The injuries that you observed <coughs> to the back of Mr. O'Keefe's head, um, skull fracture, would that be consistent with a fall to the ground? It, it could be. Would that be consistent with uh, being projected by an object, say in a pedestrian collision, and then striking your head on the ground? It's possible. That John O'Keefe's injury to his arm are inconsistent with having been struck by a vehicle at 24 miles per hour. I don't know. I am not a reconstruction um, expert. I'm not uh, a biomechanics expert. I mean, ultimately, that's what biomechanical engineering is, is how does an injury occur, why did it occur, and in what type of setting did, did the injury actually occur? What type of loading and, and what type of kinematics do you need to have this injury actually occur? Uh, Dr. Rentschler, though, I have some concerns. Um, it's clear to me that in Massachusetts, biomechanical engineers are not qualified to testify as to medical causation of an injury. Only an MD can do that.